What is up squares and skyblock millionaires, I'm your host PantsYT and today I will be taking you through episode 3 of my lowballing journey and this is definitely the craziest video so far, especially towards the end, so stay tuned. If you haven't already, check out my last two videos where I scam, I mean give good deals to people which happen to make me a profit at their cost. Anyway, I'm a whopping 39% of the way there to my 1.5 billion coin goal. 1.5 billion coins is not really that useful, unless of course you're buying an item that you can flex on all of the nons with in Hub 1, such as a Fatal Tempo Terminator. Why do I want a Fatal Tempo Terminator? For the sound, of course. Anyway, let's clock in and claim our profits from our previous lowballs. All of our recommed Jaded Sorrow, including the drill, have sold, so let's claim that all. Very nice. For the first lowball of this video, we are putting up 24 million coins for this kind gentleman's Spirit Scepter. It's pretty decent with Ultimate Wise 5, 5 starred, recommed, and a flawless gemstone. 42 million coins for this titanium drill with the lowest buy now of 48 million coins seems pretty fair to me. By fair, I mean it makes me a profit. Anyway, let's take our Spirit Scepter and list it up for 33 million coins before we forget. Anyway, we can't forget about our drill, so let's take that and list it up for 49 million coins. Talk about profit, I put up 50 million coins for this juicy juju bow. It's recommed, got Soul Eater 5, it even has Overload 5, Tabasco 3, and the Art of War applied. I found a similar one for 72.5 million coins, so I listed mine up for a similar price which was, of course, 72.5 million coins. Looking back now, I probably could have listed this for more, but it shouldn't have mattered too much. Anyway, I need to stop worrying about that, because I put up 13 million coins for this withered bouquet of lies. Nothing too special with this, it just has Swarm 3, Hot Potato Books, and this guy bought it off me for 16 mil to put in his museum for some reason. Here comes some not-so-smart decisions where I end up buying some giant swords. This turtle, though, I paid 24 million coins for, which is good. I love turtles. So, let's list that up for 30 million coins and move on. This guy put up a full reaper set with some kills on all of the armor pieces and I wasn't too sure of this deal, especially since there was nothing special about really any of the armor pieces, but I put up 63 mil for it anyway and clicked accept. More Slayer armor, we have a full Mastiff set which I paid 6 million coins for for some reason. Quick little break where I'm giving gifts to my viewers while I'm live streaming. Very fun, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, as well as joining the Discord so you don't miss out on any videos. Speaking of subscribing, did you know only 8% of you are subscribed? I only found that out today. Anyway, enough of the self promo, let's continue our little giant sword problem and pay 150 million coins for this one for all fabled giant sword. I then went to other lowballers and quickly sold the giant swords off without much negotiation needed because I realized buying them was not the smartest decision and they wouldn't sell well in the auction house. I seem to keep buying ender dragon pets for some reason, even though they've given me much difficulty in the past, especially the tier boosted ones. A lot of the times I think I'm getting a better deal than what I actually get. It's whatever though, we still make a couple million coins off this. This absolute baller then decides to trade me what is worth around 400 mil as of right now in skins for free. Also, what is that cat thing on the right? Anyway, this is not being added to the total. I just want to give this guy a little shout out. I listed the Reaper set on the auction house and put the head up for 19 mil, the chest plate up for 21 mil, the leggings up for 17 mil, and the boots up for 18 mil. Here goes the tier boosted Ender Dragon. I'm going to put the price up for 587 and the fee is 15 million coins, which is why I said I need to stop buying these things. Anyway, Way we have a legendary blaze pet for 9 million coins. So let's take that and put it in the auction house and okay it's actually an epic one I'm wrong. Big money here I love glowstone gauntlets and this one happens to have mana pool 7 and mana regen 7 and these are actually somewhat of a god roll for a mage set and a similar one on the auction house would run you about 33 million coins. So in typical lowballer fashion we have to lowball them by one coin and then tragedy strikes. I do make profit, but then I get muted for 7 days. I swear there's a staff member out to get me or something, I didn't do anything wrong guys. So let's go in the auction house and find a similar shortbow to base our price off of and what the heck is this thing? Why was there ultimate wise 4 on a spirit shortbow? I don't know. 8 million coins seems reasonable. Sorry for the bad quality, but this is a Melon Dicer 2.0 with Thunder 5 on it. Nothing really exciting happening here, but profit is profit. I'll take what I can get. There are basically none of these on the market either, so I'm just gonna make up my own price. There we go, that should work. We have 51 million coins to claim because our turtle sold, as well as our sorrow chest plate and epic blaze pet. However, I still have to list up the short bow, personal compactor, and bat artifact. 
It is a new day, so let's start it off by checking the auction house. We've got a Legion 5 8 star Necron stress plate that sold, as well as our Sunder 5 Melon Dicer and Mana Pool Mana Regen Glowstone Gauntlet. Easy money. The Juju sold for big monies, and don't forget about the Bat Artifact or Spirit Shorpo. It's not much, but it's honest work. This guy has three weird looking sloth hats, so I put up 6 million coins, which is like half the price of what it's worth, and he just accepted, so like, we'll take it. Sorry for more bad quality, but they actually all sold, I just didn't clip it, so. Oh wow, an ender dragon pet, nothing can go wrong here. This time it's not tier boost, but it has a dwarf turtle shelmet, so it makes it worth like 300 million more coins. 15 million coins for 5 of these talismans, I don't really know why I bought this for that much, I definitely could have gone cheaper. Here we've got god roll terror leggings, with a lifeline 1 and mana pool 1, bags secured. This guy had a bunch of plain farming tools and some trash, so I just put up 6 mil for it and he said okay. Gardening tools and profit, more like mossy fermento chest plate, bustling fermento helmet, and bustling, bustling? And bustling fermento leggings. That's what the real profit is. Let's pay 101 mil for that. Boom. Look at that, the best piece already sold for 66 million coins. Similar fermento leggings cost 36 million coins, so let's match that price as we do. And a similar fermento helmet cost around 31 million coins. So let's put ours up for 32 million coins. Power move. And then we've got this random item I've never heard of from this deal. And the terror leggings actually sold for 111 mil. That's like a lot of profit. I don't know why that guy sold it to us for that cheap. 160 mil for cyberpunk wither goggles. It's also recommed and has good enchants. And we put it up for around 205 mil and it sold the same day. I just do not have the clip. Here we copped a last breath bow for 4 million coins. We flipped that and listed it for 7 million coins for some easy profit. How many times am I going to say profit this video? Speaking of profit, we have this blessed Pythagorean potato hoe. That's a mouthful. Anyway, it's like pretty maxed or whatever, so we paid 33 million coins for it. We had our Fermento helmet sold, as well as our crappy melon dicer, and our bustling Fermento leggings. What a fun word to say. Off topic, but I actually did get Alchemy 50 on stream during Derpy. It was not as bad as I expected, but I still hate grinding skills. Uh, I also did some fishing, and one of the first yetis I've ever fished up actually dropped me a baby yeti pet. Wow, more master farmer, but this time we pay 3 million coins and we turn a quick profit. Legendary level 100 blue plushy skinned elephant pet with a yellow bandana. I haggled this down to 40 million coins and quickly sold it for 65 million coins on the auction house. Now we have, is that Jesus? Is he trading me 50 million coins for free? That's how you know this video is going to be blessed. If you would like to be blessed like I am, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Wow, I really can't help myself from plugging, can I? Thank you very much Z Melons, but let's move on to 57 million coins for this level 82 black cat. So let's list it up for a light 75 million coins and move on. A recommed bat person artifact for 35 million coins, a nice and simple flip, love to see it, listed it up for around 43 million coins and then I actually took it down and relisted it for 48 million coins. I made it too cheap by accident. Now I'm paying 62 million coins for this legendary pulse ring, which I'm pretty sure still hasn't sold, but it'll sell eventually, right? Anyway, a similar one is up for 72 million coins. So let's put ours up on the auction house for a total of one coin less. Another risky flip, we have Magmar Lord Leggings with Blazing Fortune and Magic Fine, which is the god roll for 215 million coins. As the lowest buy now is 320 million coins for this. So I'm going to list mine up for a similar price and pray to God that it's going to sell. And as kind of a grand finale, we have a Shattered Locket, which is worth a total of 2.1 billion coins, and I actually paid 1.7 bill for it. This was a crazy deal, and like I said, the lowest buy now is 2.1 bill, so let's list ours up for a whopping 2.099, okay, I'm not reading on that. The last flip of this episode will have to be a 2 pet candied level 100 mythic enderman with a void conqueror skin for 60 million coins. A similar one is listed up for 72 million coins, so I'm gonna list mine up for 71.9 million coins. The elephant did sell, I could have listed it for more but I'm pretty impatient, and you guys will not believe this but in the same day, the shattered locket sold. If you remember, we bought that for 1.7 billion coins which is insane, so let's claim that. And now, for the grand reveal of the total episode 3 profit, what rhymes with Kevin is 700, 500, 200, and million coins, which brings our total profit from 583 million coins to 1 billion 335 million coins. Wow, that's more profit we've made in this episode than the last two combined. And that means we go from 39% all the way up to 89% 
to our 1.5 billion coin goal, which means next episode we're basically guaranteed to hit our goal. And you're not going to want to miss that episode, so make sure to subscribe. Okay, how many times have I said that this video? I'm in limbo, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to join the Discord link in description. There's like giveaways in there sometimes, as well as useful channels such as advice channels. Channel members get exclusive perks such as lowballing help, flipping help, and overall progression help from me and my co-op. Make sure to watch this video too. Peace out.